Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I have another layout using the Marks & Company August Chiricaco kit. Uh, quite a bit of this is scraps. This is my second sheet of paper of my mind's eye. Also the second sheet of paper of that simple stories paper. And I don't end up using it on this layout. I do use this uh, cut and paste from Amy Tangerine. And then I'm going to put the whole thing on a craft background. This is a picture of my grandson just this past fall. We had gone um, every every year to tradition that we go and go apple picking. But a lot of it is so that we can um, take family pictures. So I have, I just picked up my photos that's been at the photo developer for like two and a half weeks. So now I'm excited to start scrapping some pictures that, you know, um, are new to me. To, to scrap. So the first one I want to do, I got this, um, they had this special going on when I went and you could get like a five by seven developed for like 14 cents. It was amazing. I only got like maybe, I don't know, seven or eight, but. So now I'm going to cut it down because um, I don't need to use that whole my mind's eye pattern paper because I just want it so that it kind of frames the top and the bottom of the layout. I thought maybe of matting my photo on that um, cloud paper but I just want to keep it in the more um, warmer tones so earthy tones because you know it's an outdoor picture and I didn't want to go the traditional you know apple picking green and that kind of color but I wanted to keep it um, warmer uh, because of the type of pictures that it was because it's an apple picking page so I'm going to keep it with that Amy Tangerine the brown and cream polka dots and I love that paper and then I'm going to use that little deer that we got in the kit this month and it was just one little die cut that was sort of by itself and um, I was thinking at first that, you know, the, the only way that I would use that is if I scrap some of my um, Toronto pictures when we were at the zoo and, or marine land and they were petting the little deer and stuff. And, um, but when I looked at that picture of my grandson, I, I was just thinking, oh, you're so dear to me. And then I thought of that little deer. So that's what the title is going to be. And deer, I'm going to spell it like the animal. <laughs> And um, so I already know what the title is going to be, like I said, because when I looked at that picture, that's what I thought of. I'm going to take the sticky keys uh, from Playtime and I'm going to mix the fonts um, with the colors, sort of um, a yellow and a deeper yellow, almost like a brownish um, orange. And then the deer, the small letters came in this month's kit from Studio Calico. And now I'm looking through my Project Life cards and I have the mini packs. I have the Maggie Holmes one, I have from Flea Market. I have the cut and paste one. And I can't remember what the other one is. Flea Market, Polka Dot Party from Dear Lizzie. And when I'm gonna get at the cut and paste one I'm gonna go oh well of course it's gonna match perfectly because these you know the brown and cream polka dot is from cut and paste so it coordinated really really well and this is where like there's even one that has the you know brown and, and cream polka dots on it so I'm gonna take quite a few selections out instead of making my decision you know right off the bat I'm just going to take out when I first go through I just take out anything that kind of catches my eye and I say yep that kind of coordinates with the page not too much thinking about it just does it go with the page that's the only thing that I think about do the colors coordinate well and it doesn't mean that I'm going to use it but at least I'm narrowing it you know, taking the 100 cards and making it so that it's, you know, 10 cards instead. So I'm, I'm bringing down the options a whole lot. So then my decision is going to be a little easier to make. Less options. 
Now I have this burlap ribbon that I got from Close to My Heart. I got it a few months ago and I wanted to use some on this layout because it just again reminded me of outdoors and woodsy, you know, paint, uh, a page. So now I'm going to mount that photo on, I believe it's Early Espresso from Stampin' Up! And I'm just going to make a small frame around it and I'm going to cut it out. So while I do that, um, I, for, I don't remember if I said that this was the 12th layout using this kit and it took me an hour and 20 minutes, 21 minutes to complete. And then while I keep the layout going, I have a few questions that I want to answer from Erin Harsha. She asked me what my paper trimmer was because she's in the market for a paper trimmer. The paper trimmer I have right now is the Fiskars. Um, and it's the six inch base. And you know what? I don't even know what the name of it is. Um, and it's okay. Um, it's got the wire. If you're wondering which one it is when you're looking for one, it's got the wire in the middle to help you um, cut straight. Um, I've had it for quite a few years. It cuts somewhat straight, not all the time, but most of the time I'm happy with the cut. I do have a new trimmer on the way and I'll do a review, but I probably won't get it to like probably February, middle of February. They're back ordered. And I'll do a review and see how I like that one at that point. Um, but it's not just a little portable trimmer. It's it's a, a bigger one. So I decide on that yellow uh, card and it coordinates with that other pattern paper that we had in this kit with that ray of, I call it the ray of sunshine. And because I thought the the title would fit really nicely inside that circle. So that's why I decide on that one. And from the Becca JB. And I know it's all like probably people's names that they kind of take initials and stuff. But uh, <clears throat> she says, Nicole, I would love for you to do a video showing the dyes you use in your cuddle bug. I would like to know which dyes you use the most. Um, I'm hoping on Saturday I'll do a video of my cuddle bug and I'll explain a little bit more like the plates and I'll take out all my dyes and kind of show you, you know, I'll go through them and figure out which ones are my favorite and kind of do a little segment on my cuddle bug. So uh, that's on my to-do list. Uh, it's uh, on the list that I need to do. And Again, somebody uh, brought up whether or not I'm going to cancel my Studio Calico kit or any others. And I wouldn't say necessarily like cancel, but I think I'm going to put the brakes on or maybe the pause button just until I catch up on my kits. Because I thought that I was going to be able to do it and keep getting them in, but you know, I, I can't, I can't seem to keep up and I... And it may be because I do so many pages per kit. Um, so, but if I was to date, then I could keep up. Do you know what I mean? Because if I'm doing 20 pages a month, then one kit would keep me going and I could get it done. But anyway, so I haven't totally made up my decision yet of how exactly I'm going to do that. But um, it's not so much canceling or, or I'm just going to hit the pause button for a while getting some new ones, but I'm going to keep scrapping the ones that I have here. So that will, won't stop. It's just so that I don't end up because I buy an iris case for each kit and they're starting to stack up because I scrapped them in the order that they were released. So, So now I am pulling some labels that were digital prints from Studio Calico and I got them printed at Staples. And I'm looking through my sticker sheets, my chipboard stickers. I'm just looking through a whole bunch of stuff. Taking the, if it's a sticker, I take the stickiness away using my EKS Success powder tool. And then I cut a, pea, uh, a doily. I used 
another one of those 3x4 cards and it has a little speech bubble with a heart. And again, just looking through um, the rest of my embellishments and I took out these border epoxy borders from the cut and paste collection from Amy Tangerine. And I'm going to use a couple of those borders and because um, I had put a whole bunch of stuff to use with this kit so that I get to use uh, my supplies too. So I'm still digging in that tub and seeing what else I can use. I pulled from my stash a little ticket that says good stuff. And now I'm going through my mind's eye little stickers and seeing which one I could use on this page. Now, while I finished that, I also said that I was going to start a little segment here where I'm going to do some shout out for um, some other people's other people on YouTube that do process videos and um, a few of you have left me other names and it's awesome but the funny thing again is I'm watching all those people so it's one of you know I, I figured that okay maybe I'm just addicted to scrapbook process videos <laughs> and you know because I've watched all these people's videos so um, I just love watching videos while I scrapbook so here's a few more names and they're not in any particular order. What I'm doing is these are all people that I, I am subscribed to. And so I'm just picking five a day. And oh, and another thing I said, I didn't have a blog to put make a list, but I forgot about my Facebook group. So what I did was I already started the list on Facebook group. I put the five links to the five people's videos um, from yesterday. And then today I'll put these five. So every, every time I do a video and I do the five people, I'll do I'll add them to the list and that's just for to make it easier for me because I don't you know have a ton of time so if I, if I say that I I'm gonna put a list of five people upload it you know update it five people a day I know I can do that it's a commitment that I can that I can keep so the five people today are Ashley Laura love her videos Gina Beth She's hilarious. Love her. Jenny comma. And I have to say, if you're listening to this, Jenny, I'm so glad that you decided to do voiceover. I'm really enjoying your videos. Lil Lilith Eccles. And she was a garden girl, still is a garden girl at Two Peas, but she also has her own YouTube video. And um, a fairly new one to me. I think I've only been listening to her for about... Um, maybe a month, a month and a half, but I'm really enjoying her. Her name is Katie Scott. She's also hilarious. And she um, made a goal this year to do like a, a page a day or something, 365 pages. And uh, since January 1st, she's uploaded a video every day and she does it in real time. So you actually see her do the whole page process. So does quite a bit of chatting while she does her video, which again, that's perfect for me because I scrap and I watch the videos. So these are the five people for today and I'll put them um, on my YouTube, on my Facebook because then it'll be there. I'll try to do it on the video too also. Um, but on the Facebook group, it'll be there for sure, for sure. So if, um, if you don't know about my Facebook group, I do have the link in the description so you can join us. And there's almost 500 people on my Facebook group and there is a ton of talent and everybody shares their pages and it's a lot of fun. So, okay, so back to the page. So I glued everything down that I had decided. Now I'm gluing down my title. And again, the title is You Are So Dear To Me. And the word so is in white, but in person you can you can see it. And now I'm going to use some of those labels that I had got printed from Staples. And then this was a sticker from Dear Lizzie. And that was a sticker book that, um, again, I put with my stuff that I want to use with my kits. And... Uh, maybe for next month, I'm going to revamp it because I've picked through it quite a bit. But instead of having to pick through my whole scrapbook room, I have my container with my Studio Calico kit. And I have my container with um, 
the extra stuff. I haven't had to pick so much from my extra stuff with this kit because there was a ton of stuff that was available in this kit. And um, I've used up quite a bit of it. Um, these buttons I seem to be having a hard time to use though. Um, so hopefully in the next few layouts, I'm going to try and put some buttons on these layouts. I'm not going to do it on this layout. I just didn't find that it, um, I mean, you, you can't start throwing, because I'm going to decide on the asterisks. So you can't start, you know, throwing asterisks and buttons and this and that and this and that and just to throw in a whole bunch of embellishments. So once you decide on one thing, you kind of go with that flow kind of you know and so this time around I want to do the asterisks and then off camera I found uh, the little wood veneer the wood sequence sorry stars that came in this kit so I'm going to use that on this page because it's perfect for this page now I just showed you I don't have a lot of that washi tape left um, actually by the time I was done adding what went on this page I think there's like a strip left and that washi tape will be done and I have to say that's the first time that I completely finish a washi tape so that's good and, and that's another thing I'm trying to do is is um, you know if, if two or three of the yellows seem to coordinate I try to use this you know one over and over again and my pages I don't scrap in in um, in order anyway so my pages are not going to be in an album altogether so it does it doesn't matter it's not as if like that washi tape will be seen like 15 pages in a row and just so that I feel like I'm using my stuff uh, and I don't even think I was doing it intentionally I just noticed that some of my washies are really starting to dwindle and um, it's because I seem to be reaching for the same ones. And once that one's gone, then I'll just pick another yellow that's my favorite. You know what I mean? And then that one will, will start to dwindle. So I didn't like the placement of that washi tape. I found it was too thick, so I, I ripped it in half and then put it again. So in that top cluster, I'm, I have a sticker that was from Dear Lizzie, an arrow, some washi tape, a circle, that was um, a label that I got printed at Staples from Studio Calico. And right now I'm using that liquid pearls and I'm making my own enamel dots. And to show you uh, how to do the, how I did the enamel dots, I did them on wax paper, but there was no way that I was, and I even contemplated like, maybe I should keep them on that. And then I thought, no. So what I'm going to do is I just do them directly on the page. I did that on the last page too. And then I just don't touch the page. This time around, I did it a little too early and I'm going to end up putting my hand on one of them right there, the twine one in it. So I'm just, I just took a piece of wet one and it wiped right off. And then I'm going to wait till everything is done and then I'm going to redo the dot. So that's what I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and even maybe do my splatters that I like doing and then go back and do my enamels if I'm going to use liquid pearls to do it. So this twine here was actually twine that I had bought from Studio Calico a couple months ago. They um, came up with these little fine, fine, fine twines and all in a solid color. Like it's not yellow and white it's just yellow but it's super cute you could probably stitch with this too because it's it's so fine so I'm going to add it to all the pages and I did end up putting a different epoxy sticker at the top and the bottom of the layout I'm going to start putting my layouts in the box to um, splatter again because my desk was a mask and I thought for sure that magic eraser was going to take it off my mat and it didn't take it off very well. So then I was a little sad that I wrecked my blue mat that I only got a few months ago. And I absolutely love it. And I don't want it to get ruined. So I'm going to make sure that I take the time and take my box out. So I took three colors of my Glimmer Glaze that I love so much. I took two tones of brown. And then a tone of yellow called Desert. 
in the Mr. Huey inks. So now I'm going to show you a few close-ups. And then I'm going to show you a few uh, pics that I took of each layout. So if you want to see some close-up pictures, you can do you can go to Two Peas in a Bucket or Studio Calico in the members gallery. Look for Nicole Jones 911, or you can join me on Facebook. The link is in the description of the video. Also on Pinterest, and the link is on my YouTube channel. And um, and that's it for now, I believe. I'm going to hopefully start uploading to Instagram and I'm also on Twitter. So that's it. The page is done. So thanks for watching. Bye.